How to, how you do cousins? Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm gonna show you what may end up being the find of the year. I got a bunch of these antique tools. I'm gonna take you all through them. Let's get started. Rusty how to. All right guys, good morning. We're down here in level three, section 56 this morning down at the warehouse. And I wanted to take you with me uh, 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 an initial look at this gigantic box of antique tools that I picked up for $300 at an estate sale last week. Guys, it's only February, but I'm real excited about this. I got my coffee here, I got myself all ready. Let's dive in. Here we go. Now, this is exactly what it looked like when I bought it. It was sitting there, it was open like this, and uh, I could see that there were just a gobs of tools in here and uh, I could see a couple of hand planers and stuff I'm not exactly sure what all is in here, but let's take a look together. and We'll talk about it So the first couple things I can pull out are a couple of these older Hand crank drills that you would put a drill bit down inside of here. You'd cinch it in and uh, This is in decent condition. Well, it's got a little crack there quite old you can tell you can see the flathead screws in here that's one kind of indication that it's quite old let me see if i can see any sort of a name uh it looks like it says united hmm i can't quite make out the name so i'm gonna have to look at that a little bit that's pretty nice and then here's another one slightly smaller in size and scale um but this one says Fulton another hand crank I'm gonna look up those uh, look up those names here in a little bit and just kind of see what those will go for those can go for some decent money I'm gonna get into the hand planers here now Wow look at this still got some cracks some splits here in the wood this has probably been in an area that had some major fluctuations in temperature um, something like that which which is probably what caused this wood to split like that uh, still a beautiful kind of color wood um, as I look down in here, these are going to need some cleaning up a little bit just to see, but I can tell it says patented, uh, look at that, March 25th, 02, August 19th, 02. So, uh, 1902, folks, this little hand planer, just like that. Quite nice. That's planer number one. Before we get any further, oh, wow, look at this old hatchet. Man. That's fantastic. This has some sort of a, a marking on here, an emblem. A-R-W-L, no, H-A-R-W-L. Vertically and an H-A-R-W, looks like L or I, something like that. But um, you can tell they put some little nails in the top here to kind of keep it fixed in there. It's a little bit wiggly, but uh, old hatchets can go for some really good money. Uh, this probably it's still a little bit sharp. It's got a couple of little nicks in there Might want to sharpen that up a little bit before I put it for sale, but that's a great little find right there Let's Set it up right here. Oh Look at this. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen one that looks quite like this This is a some sort of a crowbar and it looks like it's got a little uh, a Smaller edge here at the end that you could kind of hammer down onto it But it's got that nice little edge to it. You can see kind of and uh, a nice little point, and there the, the, the end. This is pretty incredible. I don't see any uh, manufacturer's names or marks on it, but uh, that would be a real handy tool. It's a really great size, great weight. All right, keep it going. Looks like, uh, I don't know if these are, are tongs or if this is just set up for holding the tools originally inside the box, but it's got some flathead screws right there right on the end and see man okay here we go some really large larger hand tools here number five. Oh my goodness this appears to be a stanley number five old bailey again up here it says patent march 29th august 19th 02 to April 19th, 10. Oh my, look at that. That is incredible. Wow. Oh, we've not even begun to dig in here. 
Starting to get a little bit deeper inside here now. Got another big planer. Oh my goodness, this is at least 26 inches long. Um, I'm looking, I see initials here from the person, BCH. I noticed on the other two there were those as well. So whoever this was has marked these as theirs. It looks like this says 422, number 422. I don't know if this is a Stanley or possibly a Sargent. Um, man, that is just gigantic. Look at that. It's gorgeous. The, uh, the top handle here has been broken off. It looks like or cracked. Um, I don't know if it's when they were putting in or taking out the, uh, the screw here, but uh, it's still functional. You can hold it. It's quite, quite uh, easy still to hold. So that is planer number three so far. My goodness. That Stanley number five has really got me excited. Um, now we got a, wow, a large. Now this is a newer, so somebody's put this in a little bit later, but this is a Craftsman uh, large hand uh, saw. It's got this nice little ornate uh, uh, kind of design here. You can also see uh, that now we got the Phillips screw uh, screws here, not the flatheads anymore. Um, and so you can tell this is a little bit newer. It says satin cut back saw. Uh, feels really nice in the hand. It's in really good condition. It's, even though this is not quite as old, it's still, that can sell for some good money right there. Nice little hand saw. And I see another hand saw, so I'll just pull that out. Now here is an older one. Um, this is, I'm not quite sure with the brand of this, but it's got that basic same design on here, but this is kind of like a much smaller thin blade, uh, rusted a little bit, but see in this case, we've got the flathead screws and, uh, it's a little bit bent. That's not, that's not a big deal. That can be bent back. Um, you know, some people like to, uh, refinish these, take them out, uh, sand them down, get all the junk off of them and uh, polish up the handles and stuff. Um, but some collectors really like them in the original condition, so I don't typically do that on stuff like this. I like to leave them as is. If a person really wants to do that and they have the know-how, they'll do that on their own. I don't want to mess up the value of it just because um, I'm trying to sell it to a particular individual. Well, let's start with this. We got some interesting tube here, duct tape on it. Obviously, this duct tape is, is not old. Um, it's new. Let's just see what's inside of this. This is the interesting size tool. Ah, okay. We got some large old needles. These are like um, upholstery needles or needles you use to sew uh, fabric or leather. And on here I see it says Burbeckler, Burbecker, England. So these are English uh, needles. But look how, look how large these things are. And some of them still have this um, yellow uh, like fabric or... Uh, uh, yarn or whatever this is in here that you can use to uh, to sew things together. How cool. About, got probably a dozen, somewhere between a dozen and 20 of these needles down in here. So seeing this in this package makes me kind of wonder, uh, was this person, uh, were they a furniture maker possibly? Um, they've got all these, they got a lot of hand planers and cranks and then a saw. We've, we've already pulled out two saws and the next thing I'll pull out as I see here, well, if I can get it, is uh, what they call a draw knife. So it's a nice blade with two wooden handles on either side. You'd take it and you'd scrape, you'd pull back and you'd scrape the wood off that direction. Um, still got a really good edge on it. This is a Fulton and I see a seven. So this is a Fulton number seven. Um, a seven inch, I guess, the blade is probably what that's saying. And again, I see BCH, BCH up here. This is the person's initials that, uh, that owned this. Um, so cool. Man, this is such a great find. As we get more down into it here, I see another large hand plane. Oh my. I'm trying to see if I can find a manufacturer uh, stamp or something. Uh, it looks like it says 4, 418. So, so far we have a number 5, we have a 422, and a 418. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure. I don't have this cataloged away in my mind as far as what manufacturer this is. This is a Stanley or a Sargent. Um, both of those have a collector group. I'm going to have to clean it up just a little bit. Uh, but the handle is in really nice condition. It's not broken or cracked at all. Neither is uh, this like this top one here that you hold on to and, and draw back. 
Um, but this is again, this is probably a solid, you know, 20 in, you know, 18 to 20 inch long. So man, this is one, two, three, four. That is the fourth planer that I pulled out of here. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. And as I, oh, no way. Another number five. I don't know if you can see that. Clear as day, number five. Beautiful handle, rich, dark wood. Mm. And it's very prominently displayed there, Stanley. Bailey, made in the USA. That is gorgeous. That's in even better condition. So now I'm gonna pull this other one up. And you can see we've got a number five here and a number five here. This one to my right is quite a bit older, I believe, and it has the patent date and all that down here underneath. I'm not quite sure if you can make that out. It's a little dirty, but it's not set up the same way in here, so I'm guessing. Plus, this one is uh, much more prominently uh, you know, shown, the, uh, the actual age there. And you can see the little knobs here in the end are also different. One's about half the height of the other one there. Man, that is gorgeous. Guys, number fives can sell for some really good money. I cannot believe we got two of them in here. We got a little oil can. What does this say? It's still got oil on it. I'll have to scrape that off a little bit uh, to find out what it says. N-O... Oh, it's gross. A lot of oil on here. Noera, N-O-E-R-A, made in the USA. Guys, I love to see that made in the USA stamp. Um, a lot of times these older tools that are made in the United States uh, tend to be, you know, a little bit more valuable. They seem to, seem to have more collectors that, uh, that buy those things. Um, oh, here is a nice little blade, a little stone to sharpen, in, to sharpen blades. So that means we got some blades in here. I'm wondering if they're in this box right here. As, yeah, and exactly. We got a bunch of blades. Now, this is kind of cool because, well, definitely some of these wide blades, something like that size, would probably fit in one of those planers, but these tiny little ones, those have to go to some other kind of, yep, and you know what? I see it right now as we're talking. There is another planer. Man, like number, this is like the sixth or seventh, and there's even another one in there. Oh, Stanley, number 45. Look at that, this is a completely different, and they've got the, the initials are etched on the handle there now. Got this wood block set in here as a guide, and then you would slip the blade, the blade fits right down in here, and you measure the height, and that's what these blades are for. Good night, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're up to six hand planers so far. Oh, and here's the blade. You can see one's already in here, in fact, if I, if I unscrew this to untighten, and I unscrew this, whoop, I'm actually tightening it. Pull that back. This little blade slips right out. See that? Man, that's gorgeous. That is just, that's beautiful. It's got this nice little slit in the back of it so that this can tighten down over it perfectly. What a nicely engineered little contraption. Just great for cutting wood. This kind of thing, I mean, this is in good enough condition it could be used today quite effectively. Um, especially if it was uh, polished up and then also in the bottom here in the metal, again, it's etched the initials BCH. Somebody very much cared for these tools. This was like their life's blood. This is how they made a living. They needed to keep these. They didn't want to lose them. They didn't want to get them stolen. And I have two more that I see. One's newer, one's older smaller hand planes zero looks like it says zero one one zero so this is either a 110 or maybe it's a 10 not exactly sure doesn't say i'm guessing that that's a stanley but i'm not exactly sure and this one great neck so this uh another like nicer this is definitely a newer one you can tell by kind of the brass fitting here on the top this one's missing a little fitting and I wonder if it's down in there someplace or what, but uh, eight hand planes so far. This is just incredible. One of these number fives, I'm gonna get my money back on. All right, moving on here. So many things, this nice stone. I got a little uh, a Stanley, an old Stanley uh, Chalk-O-Matic, chalk line uh, contraption here. And then what I got left, 
are some various clamps, it looks like. Um, some little vices and some guides. So we got a nice little sort of a, a metal clamp here. Really old. These square nuts that are basically, well, one's loose, one's locked. Well, no, they're both loose. I thought one of them was locked up. A nice blade for a planer. Um, still kind of loose down in there. Set that up here. And then we've got looks like a contraption that could both uh, tighten uh, a nut down and also like a blade or a chisel type contraption on the other end. Not quite sure which one of those that's for. Um, ooh, look at this. Nice little uh, cone-shaped uh, bore of some kind. And I can see it says number 242 and a half. I don't see a manufacturer. Well, made in the USA is all it says. Pretty sharp still, actually. I could, could cut a nice little hole. And then it looks like some guides. Screw these in possibly, and then, then you have the area where you can bore through in a straight spot a guide to get you started. Um, with some of these uh, drill bits, which I'm going to pull out right now, there are a lot of them. A lot of very large ones. Oh, we got a couple of really cool uh, metal clamps. So things like this. Look how look how large that is, and long. That's a pretty awesome looking one. But I just pulled out. I don't know if you saw these very large metal. Um, plier type things gigantic that's one here's another one with kind of a different tip kind of a precision tip sort of for something that large um and then guys just gobs I'm not exactly sure what this is i really have no idea what that is but it if you guys know please let me know in the comments it's been welded together you can tell here in this maybe this was just a custom made thing um these pieces we're welded together, and then I've just got gobs and gobs more. I mean, it just, it's just a treasure trove. It keeps, uh, keeps producing stuff. Look at all of these large, boring drill bits here. And I haven't even pulled this out. I'm not sure what's going to be, but I've got a little box that's set up in here. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. I've got another tiny little hand crank. For a, a, like a smaller drill bit that could uh, drill. Another tiny, and this is again a smaller uh, little cutting, uh, almost like a, a, a planer. But it's a Stanley brand as well, but that's a newer one. Guys, that's nine hand planing type tools. It looks like that's the missing knob off of one of those smaller um, planers a minute ago. And I'm not going to take all of these out, folks, but... What is this? Oh man, that's an incredible looking. Oh, that's a. That's like a, a, a. It's another drill bit, but it's got like a measuring uh, thing on the top there, almost like a ruler. It says a patent thing in there. That's incredible looking. And then I'll just kind of try to show you. This box is full of these smaller, boring uh, drill bits of various kinds. Um, there are ways. It says regular U.S. patent, main bore 12 inch. It doesn't say main, I don't know if main bore is the company or what, but uh, if you drop these things down and uh, you can use uh, some sort of acidic substance like um, uh, some sort of uh, like a apple um, vinegar, uh, white vinegar, um, or there's different types of degreasers that are um, even... Uh, biodegradable which is really nice uh, for the environment so you just get like a, a five gallon bucket or a little tub or something and you drop them down in that for a day or, or so and then you get like a little metal scrub brush pull those things out and you can clean these up really nicely get all that rust off um, use them or you can resell them uh, this is just an absolute incredible the box itself guys is is handmade it's I mean look at this this thing was built this box was built specifically it's just made with nails, uh, and it was made specifically to fit into this little spot right up here for this box to hold it. Uh, just incredible. I'm going to try to lay all these out, guys, for you to see, and uh, 
take a look at all this again three hundred dollars for this lot i'm not i don't know but i wouldn't be surprised if the, if there's four or five thousand dollars worth of tools in here um i guess the biggest question is do i try to sell it as a collection since it's been in this collection since i mean a lot of these are clearly very early 1900s 1902 possibly in the late 1800s they all belong to one person as i can tell from from all of the uh inscriptions of the initials on there it would be sad to break this thing up but there's a much larger group of collectors out there who are wanting just a single item versus like a whole bunch of these uh so we'll see but let me uh let me kind of pull these out and let you take a look Gene Peach here, Rusty wanted me to follow up with y'all and talk, show you some sold comps on from eBay, what we're talking about here, why we think this could be the deal of the year. First off, we have this vintage Craftsman miter box saw we picked up, uh, $55 on eBay it sold for. Next we got this Sargent Plane 422, the big boy from that video, it sold on eBay just a few days ago, $90. Next we got this Sargent, I'm sorry, this uh, Stanley... 605. We got one just like this one in the picture. It sold on eBay about a month ago, $765. Next, we got these Stanley, uh, Stanley number no. five wood planers. We got two of them. One's a Stanley. Not sure about that other one. We'll look into it and get back to you guys. But uh, just to give you an example, it sold for a little over a thousand dollars. Lastly, we got one of these uh, planers just like in the picture, almost identical. Uh, it sold on eBay $1,250, so you can see, uh, and this is just the five planers uh, that we're talking about, and, and that one saw, uh, a lot of other tools to go through and, and list and sell, so uh, very exciting stuff, we'll keep you posted on this deal, how we come out at the end, and uh, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more, please like and subscribe to our channel, and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell, so you know when new videos are dropped, we drop new videos each week. And uh, leave us a comment, leave us some feedback, let us know how we're doing, if we miss anything, if you want to see some more of something. And uh, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks and take care. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair. Rusty, rusty.